I'm Eddie Cat Marie. You can call me Kate. And it's really late. And I just finished this book. And I haven't even had time to process it yet. But oh my gosh. So I have read this book, Ignite Me. And so I've read Shatter Me, Destroy Me, Unravel Me, Fracture Me, and then this is Ignite Me. And I have yet to um, read Shatter Me or whatever. I have notes for things I was thinking as I was reading. But it's like, okay. Okay, so of course I ran out of storage. And so that kind of gave me time to think, but at the same time, I don't know what to say. It's like, okay, so the end, I love Warner, you know? Like, I really hated him, but she just did a good job, you know? Like, oh, don't, this is spoilers. Don't hang out, it's spoilers. Go, sorry, so many notifications. Spoilers? Do not stay if you don't want spoilers, which you don't want spoilers. So don't stay if you haven't read up until this book. You know, she had me worried here. I was so worried. He was like, I don't know, half dead somewhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be like the cliffhanger ending. That would be like this. But then this was like, mm -hmm, it made me so happy. <sighs> Okay, so let's go to see my what I was thinking while I was reading. Okay, okay. When she was giving her talk about how she was going to take over everything, and like even like just like her confidence, she was just so confident throughout the whole thing. She's just like, no one can stop me. I am the best. I am invincible. And like, yeah, like she is, right? Like, you know, she was literally covered in bullets, and like not harmed. But like at the same time, that confidence was kind of unnerving. And like when she said like. I will take over the world. I will rule. I will rule better than anyone else possibly could. It was kind of concerning for me, and I'd seen like just like this random post about um, books where it was like, um, like where the person who's telling, like, oh gosh, how do I word this? Like, um, shoot, uh, like. You know, the hero is always the person who tells the story, and so you know they could actually be the be the, be the villain, but because they're telling it and they're here, and so then I was like, okay, well maybe that's just like her and Warner and like the different perspectives. Like when you read his perspective, whatever book that was, I think that was Destroy Me or something. Anyways, so I was like, I think maybe that, but like also I just like like obviously the other guys are worse, right? But then it worries me that she's gonna turn into something bad. But then I don't think she will, and well, I don't know. It's just like, it's so much like, I don't know. I think she's fine. I think she'll be fine. And I think Kenji, oh, I love Kenji. He's the best, you know? And it's just, I smile at how they interact and it's so nice. And it's just like, also I am going a little crazy. I'm tired and I just finished my book and it's so good. And it's just like, yeah, okay. He's just like, he's like the Keith from Keith and Lost Cities, except better. Because he's not like, well, no, like Keith is completely different, I suppose. That was a bad thing. We just both start with K. And E. But it's just like, I don't know, it's just like, yes, you know? I appreciate that. That was just like, you know, Kenji's never ticked me off. I, um, I struggle with secondhand engagements, especially from book characters, and like when they do stupid things, and when they're just like, being stupid and it's just like oh it's so he never made me feel that because he's smart and he actually like has a brain and it's just like i feel for kenji you know yeah that wasn't on my sheet but i should like written down because like you know great character what else do i say okay this is extremely random and it's very 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 like not to do anything but i was thinking because i was brushing my teeth like the other night or whatever i was thinking okay so she only has the door open for her to go to the bathroom and have a shower or whatever when she was sorry when she was in the asylum that was only to go to the bathroom shower or whatever like once like i don't know however once a day i guess for the bathroom and maybe for a shower as well anyways but like she wouldn't have brushed her teeth and now is she brushing her teeth this is a really random thing but like would she know how to brush her teeth because for all these things like obviously she doesn't know how to drive she's never been on a boat she hasn't done so many of these things obviously but like Brushing your teeth. It's just weird. Yeah. 
Anyways, okay. Adam, I loved Adam at the beginning. You know? Well, no, I did love him actually. He was like a good character. Like I was like, okay, that works. You know? And then it was like kind of like, hmm, slightly overprotective there, sir. And it was just kind of like, giving me bad vibes. But how he touched Kenji's hand to her hand, I like stood up from my seat and I just like was speechless. Like he basically, like I know he kind of knew that it wouldn't kill him, but he could have killed Kenji doing that. His motivation was to hurt Kenji, you know, like to hurt him. Like, and then to put Juliet through that, I never use her name, it's so weird, to put Juliet through that and like have her like so horrified that she's hurt him. That was his goal. That was his aim. And he's just turned into this horrible person. And now he's fine. He's like saying like, hey, and then like smoking and walking off or whatever the thing was. But like the fact that that was his motivation, that was his goal. That's what he, he wanted to hurt Kenji. And he wanted to leave Juliet with a guilt that she hurt Kenji. It's just. I don't like him much. Okay, also, another thing linked to the scenario that I came and wrote on this piece of paper and then rushed back to my chair is that turning off her power, like, duh, that was like the first thing I thought. I thought that's what her training was going to be, is like her learning how to turn off her power so that she can touch other people. Like, I thought that's what her training was going to be, and I was like, oh, well, maybe it just doesn't work for her for some reason, and I was kind of confused. But then, yeah, like, duh, she can turn off her power. Doesn't that just make sense? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know, doesn't that just make sense? I don't know. Anyways. Okay. It's just like... <sighs> I'm sure I will have more thoughts tomorrow. So... If I do, I will say other stuff. But, gosh. It's just like... <sighs> yeah. You know? It's just left me with feelings. This... It's a well-written book. Like, I've heard that, like, and, like, I feel like, what's it called, book? Okay, it was, like, a lot of not very much happened in this book, I feel like. But it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't slow-paced. It's like Keep of the Lost Cities. I'm gonna go back to this again because I read this and I've been talking about this with people, right? Um, is that, like, they can have a whole lot of conversations, a whole lot of talking. And you don't really get bored through it, which is, like, I feel like that shows good writing, you know? Um, I mean... When they're going through, okay, no, I shouldn't say this. I won't say this. Okay, when they're, okay, in, 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 what's it called? Stellar Loon. In Stellar Loon. I was like, okay, you know, this is um, actually picking up. Because at first it just feel like all of these books was kind of just like a money grab. But then, you know, she was kind of picking up the pace again. She had a messenger one. Like, okay, this is actually, you know, a better book now. Um, right? But then they went through this whole section. And it was like so many, I had my, I had my friend, because she was rereading it again, and she, like, marked, and it was, like, literally, like, a third of the book or something that was this stupid, stupid, I mean, like, there were a few revelations in it, but it was, like, pretty much just boring, nonsense, book filler stuff. So it was kind of just, like, right out. Anyways, so I feel like, just because, like, even though it doesn't have a whole lot of content content, I forgot what I was going to say for a second, um, it, like, still moves. And it's just like, you know, you don't feel as bored. And I, I talked to someone today and she was like, oh yeah, well, I started reading and I think I got to maybe this book, but then I was kind of bored of it. And I definitely have gotten that for other books, but this book, I just didn't get that, you know? It was, I was excited the whole way through it. And it was just interesting. And I was able to put it down, but I usually am able to put down books. Well, it depends at what point of the book I'm in. But like, it was just, it was good. It was really good. And I think it was really well written. And I have talked to other people. <laughs> who have said that it does go on for a bit and like, you know, uh, there are however many books this is in the series and they're not, some of them are novellas or novellas or however you pronounce that but like, I have heard that kind of like, it's just like a lot and not much happens in some of the books but I feel like, I mean so far at least, like I haven't obviously even gone well I guess this is halfway if you don't count the these ones but it's just, I don't know. It's, yeah. And then I also have written on my page, Warren and Juliet, and I don't even know what to talk about, about them. 
because like I kind of already talked about it but I didn't like okay yeah I did not like wear at first and then I didn't actually you know I feel like usually I can like it's really stupid but like when I read books and stuff I'm like I kind of get an idea of like who's gonna end up with who and like tv shows and stuff I kind of get that like idea and I mean obviously the author is hinting at that but I didn't get that for Warner and Juliet not even like when like before she shot him and he was like kissing her or whatever and be like before she went like patow and like shot his shoulder or whatever I didn't get that until like until he was like in his jail so I thought her and Adam I was like pretty sure they were gonna have troubles because they were so lovey-dovey and like everything was perfect and obviously there has to be some conflict with that so I expected like some troubles with them but I didn't expect them to be like I don't know I think it's probably like I I think it's good that it's happened I di didn't expect it and I mean that's probably also good right it's just like I don't know I think I think she's really good with Warner actually like and that she, she stands by him and she doesn't care and she just like you know she's just there for him and he's there for her and it's just i think that's really nice and it's just yeah it's just yeah and i'm not going to talk about that no that's not going to happen uh-huh um but like it was just i feel like they're really good together and just like how he's willing to do things for her and not like crazy thing i mean he kind of well, no, I suppose not. But he's just like, he's willing to stand by her and just to put in the effort, you know, that it kind of takes. And I think that's just really nice. And I don't know. I feel like I'm using my hand so much, but it's like down here, so you can't see it. It's, anyways. Um, I tend to motion a lot and I change. And it's very, very, okay. But like, I don't know. It was just, this has been a very chaotic. And yeah, if you do not listen to my advice, and you were like, I don't care about spoilers, I'm gonna read it. Which is very, very stupid. And so many people died from the hungry and so sad. I'm like, the movies are so much worse. And anyways, they've been good. There was the best movie adaptation I've seen, I think. Because I already sucked, right? Now things are like pretty good. They just cut out some of the fun stuff. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Anyways, if you haven't listened and you've watched this and you haven't read it, go read it now. Because it is so good. It is just... I mean, obviously, I don't have, like, the words for it. And my opinion will probably change as I go through. Like, it has for Keep the Block Cities. I still, I really like that series. Um, I just feel like it's really long, and it didn't need to be technically that long, and there's... Okay, this is a whole different video, so I'm not going to talk about it now, but, like, it's good. And I'm still going to continue reading it, and it may take a while, because I have not yet put the book on hold at my library. So, we shall see how long that takes, but, yeah, I think it's just, if you haven't read it, you should read it because it's really good and if you're just wanting to see what other people thought of it i appreciate this book and i think it's pretty great i have so many i'm gonna go and i'm gonna look at other people's opinions on this i don't i must make sure it's only about this book because i looked actually no i haven't i haven't made the mistake yet but um like on pinterest or whatever and i look at like you know the like things with the characters and all these pictures and stuff and then I end up well I think I like no I have done it and just spoil it for myself so I don't want to do that until I finish the whole series so I'm not going to do that but I'm going to see if I can find videos about like this specific book or the earlier books just rant about them with the people in the videos because yeah anyways thank you for watching and I will see you next time goodbye oh, I just scratched my face there